What's on the agenda for today, William? This looks like a petrified fish cache. It's a money clip. You gonna help me with this one? Okay, let's test it, see how it does. Let's talk about this little guy. This is the petrified fish cache. I tested this thing and when I did, I found this to be super cool. This is a money clip that has a backup knife inside of it. And I will tell you why it's a backup as we go along through the video. I'm gonna talk about my testing of this knife. I'm gonna show some testing. I'm gonna talk about how it feels and, and you know, generally how it looks too. Let's jump right into the testing. Edge retention on this little guy was spectacular. I tested it at 350 plus cuts through my dowel. So let's demonstrate here again. We're, we're talking about cutting all the way through a dowel like that 350 times. This only gives you a three finger purchase on here. So I stopped after 350 times because my, uh, my hand was getting a little uncomfortable. Well, not a little, a lot uncomfortable. It's just not a lot of grip for that much cutting, but the edge was still sharp. Uh, after that, it did not fail in my testing. My, I didn't tear paper with it. So after I do my cutting test, every time I take and I punch through the paper and I slide like this, just sliding through, not, not pulling. Uh, and it obviously is still cutting paper really well. Uh, so fantastic edge retention on this little thing. There's a good point on it for opening packages. So when you're getting underneath, like to open a box or to poke into plastic or something, that point pokes in very well and lets you slide right through the packaging. So it's a good package opener despite being such a short blade. Cutting against a flat surface like this board, obviously you're just gonna be hitting with the tip. So this is not a super effective flat surface cutter. You can get pretty close with that flat front of the handle though, if you're holding it like this in your hand. So it's better than you would expect, uh, but yeah, it's not really designed for that. So this is more of an EDC and not a flat surface cutting knife. Cutting cord like this, uh, just in your hand, Better than you would expect because the blade is straight. But again, this is a short knife, so it's not the best for that. Uh, I do like the fact that there's not a big unsharpened choil back there. So cord slides up off of that easily so that uh, you don't catch fibrous material on it. Again, really just solid little design. Uh, impressive in such a, such a small backup knife. Even though you've only got three fingers on the knife, it's relatively comfortable. It's better than you would expect for something so small. So this actually did much better than I expected in the testing, given that this is a very small knife. Let's talk about some looks here. This looks useless, right? Even though it's not, it is very useful. Uh, it's got just a fantastic fit and finish to it. This is the first petrified fish knife I have tested. And it just, I mean, it'll make you look rich, right? It's just a fantastic looking money clip uh, in addition to being a good little knife. Uh, just super smooth. The finish is deep looking, uh, really just classy little, little pocket clip. Feels, again, surprisingly good in the hand. The opening is a little awkward. Uh, I've seen other models of this, other, you know, other units. Uh, they seem to open a little more smoothly than this. This one's a bit stiff. I suspect that that would go away as you used it more, but, you know, uh, it is a little stiff. Uh, one good plus of this is this is short enough to fit in the pocket of something like a women's jeans uh, very well. I had... My sister-in-law tested out for me. She was able to fit it in even the pocket of like a little, you know, swimming trunks type pocket, that little inside pocket thing. Obviously, this is a very small knife. Here it is next to a Bradford Guardian 3, uh, three inch blade. Obviously, it's just, I mean, it's tiny. Uh, there's a Rake P108. On the scale, we are looking at a very light knife here. we're looking at 1.6 ounces, right? Very small, very lightweight, surprising amount of cutting power for the size. My conclusions are this, I mean, this is a great backup knife. 
I wouldn't really use it as a primary EDC. It's a bit small for that. But if you needed something really small, it could do that. Uh, very consumable, right? If you have this as a money clip, who's going to look at that as a knife, right? Who's going to who's going to question your money clip? Uh, so very consumable, good for that. Uh, it's a my overall conclusion would be that this is a great knife as long as you don't mind uh, breaking it in. I am going to disassemble it. Uh, so you can see kind of the differences there. One big difference there is there's a lot of space underneath this pocket clip. That's so you can use it as a money clip. Uh, you know, so, so some, some bills and things will fit in there. Let's disassemble it because I am wanting to show you some stuff about it. You cannot tighten the pivot clip on this without disassembling it. So the first thing you have to do, no matter what, is take out the pocket clip bolts. Uh, and those are, I believe, T6s. Yes, that's a T6. So let's take those apart and see what we have on the pivot. Long bolt, right? Because it's a structural bolt as well as the pocket clip bolt. There's the other one. Two bolt pocket clip comes off there. This appears to be, yeah, so that, that is not just a spacer. That's actually part of the side of the knife. Uh, so we now have the T8 pivot bolt here. Take this out and then the whole knife will come apart. There's the pivot bolt. And then the knife lifts apart. So we do have kind of a semi-internal stop pin here. Uh, I normally don't like that on larger knives, but this blade is so short that it's unlikely you're ever going to generate enough leverage on this blade to damage it. Uh, so I'm okay with the way they've used that in this knife. You've got your little ceramic bearings there. They are recessed into the blade, but again, it's such a short blade uh, that I don't necessarily have a problem with that on this type of knife. There is no steel insert on the side here. This is a titanium side. Uh, again, on larger knives, I have a problem with that. Uh, on something this small, I'm, I'm okay with that because this is a backup knife, right? This is not gonna be a primary EDC. You're probably not gonna use this heavily. There are some spacers inside of the uh, side plate there to space out the pocket clip. I'm not exactly sure what those are for, uh, but they're there. Uh, so that's what the internals look like. Again, pretty cool little knife. There's really nothing not to like about this. Uh, I would recommend it for a backup knife. Like I said, not necessarily a primary EDC, but if you don't mind breaking in that stiff detent, this is a fantastic little knife. Hope that is helpful uh, and enjoy some, some cool equipment here. <laughs>